It's a typical crisp Shropshire morning, birds are singing and there's a nip in the air that would make a penguin shudder. And in strides our rugged, bald and bearded maestro Dave, who's not just in tune with nature, but also the latest fashion trends that defy all reason. Enter Dave, striding into the forest clearing with a t-shirt that's defying physics, clinging on for dear life like it owes him money. I swear, it's so snug, even the trees are wondering if they missed the memo on the latest lumberjack fashion. Dave, the pioneer of rugged meat snug, making trees jealous since, well, now. Our fearless forest trailblazer unveils a banquet that could make a bear skip hibernation. Dave, the maestro of munchies, turns the woods into his personal culinary kingdom, flexing his culinary muscles so much even the squirrels are swooning. As Dave unveils the feast, one can't help but wonder if that t-shirt will survive the gastronomic onslaught. As the moon plays hide and seek with the clouds above, our stage is set for an evening of woodland whimsy around the forest's version of the dinner table where the next guest of honour is furrier than Dave's beard on his best day. Introducing, with more stripes than a zebra at a barcode convention, Bruce the Badger. Behold, as Bruce bulldozes his way into the stage with all the grace of a walrus on a water slide. His blurry frame, unmistakably badger, carries the promise of a dining spectacle about to unfold. Bruce makes his grand debut on the sylvan scene, nose quivering with gastronomic anticipation with the elegance of a moonlit marauder. He beelines for the woodland feast laid out by our unseen baldy maestro Dave. Bruce zeroes in on the grub, sampling it with the disconcerning palate of a connoisseur. Is it the crunch he enjoys, or the subtle flavours released by each bite? One can't be sure, but by the twinkle in his beady eyes, it's a royal treat indeed. Peanuts, Bruce muses in silent monologue, the unseen heroes of the underbrush hors d'oeuvres. Now behold, as Bruce embraces the main course with gusto, the dog food. Bruce is gobbling it down with the vigour of a duck in a bread riot. Each morsel is savoured with unbridled enthusiasm. You can almost imagine Dave nodding in approval, his heart swelling with pride at Bruce's take-no-prisoners dining approach. Dog food, a banquet for a beast, and tonight I feast like a king, Bruce's snuffling affirms. Each mouthful is an opera of crunches, a sonnet to the sensibilities of the woodland taste buds. He's so enraptured that he's wearing more of it than he's eating. It's a badge of honour in the animal kingdom, the wild equivalent of a spaghetti sauce stained tire a gourmet gala. No need for napkins in the great outdoors, au naturel is Bruce's steadfast style. Look at him go, turning the forest floor into his personal smorgasbord. If ever there was a Michelin star for mess making, Bruce would be the Gordon Ramsay of the undergrowth. With a twitch of his nose, Bruce approaches the evening's pièce de résistance, the chopped apples. It's a palate cleanser, a sweet reprieve from the savouries, and Bruce consumes it so quickly it's as though he's just sat down at the school dinner table and somebody set off the fire alarm. Fellow nature enthusiasts, today we're taking a gentle stroll into the elegant world of Miss Doe Fallow Deer. The refined dame of the forest with taste for the finer things, or should I say, the leafier things in life. As we enter the woodland fine dining scene, there's Torrance, the epitome of grace, nibbling on leaves as though she's attending a black tie affair. Move over, Michelin starred chefs. We've got a four legged food critic in the house, and she's here to redefine elegance in her before dining. Now, I've seen people eat salads with less enthusiasm than Torrance nibbling on those leaves. It's as if each bite is a poetic dance, a choreography of refined taste that would make even the most distinguished food critic nod in approval. As we tiptoe into the enchanted forest, there she is, Torrance, the trendsetter of the animal kingdom, nibbling on leaves with the finesse of a deer with a PhD in charm. Move over Bambi, there's a new cuteness queen in town. As she munches away, you can almost hear her saying, These leaves have notes of chicory and a hint of wild radish. A perfect blend. If deer had their own version of Vogue, Torrance would be undoubtedly on the cover, setting the trend for the season. And there you have it, dear viewers, Torrance the Grey, 
the fashion forward foodie, turning every leafy bite into a runway sensation. Stay tuned for more glamorous her before escapades, more adorable grazing and of course more fabulous fashion tips from our dear Torrance. But which of our furry friends will be next into the woodland diner? As the sunlight dances between the leaves, shaping shadows and stories upon the forest floor, our final scene comes to life. In strides a creature with more swagger than a pirate on shore leave, it nibbles the squirrel, ready to dive into a feast that has his eyes twinkling brighter than the cats in a yarn factory. As Nibbles enters the woodland bistro, he surveys the feast laid out before him, a twinkle in his eye and a hunger in his belly. It's as if he's about to embark on a culinary journey of a lifetime, and we're all here to witness every bite. With each mouthful, Nibbles takes us on a flavour roller coaster. Nibbles, the animal kingdom's answer to Gordon Ram Squirrel, chomps away with the gusto of a vacuum cleaner in a crumb-filled room. The maestro of munching showcases impeccable dining etiquette, tiny paws working in harmony. He elevates the act of eating into an art form. It's a spectacle, a feast and a comedy rolled into one furry package. It's like he's auditioning for Dancing with Nuts. I haven't seen this much enthusiasm since my grandma found out there was a sale on knitting supplies. And there you have it folks, a journey into the wild world of nibbles, a gourmet squirrel sensation. Stay tuned for more Epicurean adventures, more munching magic, and more heartwarming moments from our favourite forest foodies. Stay wild, stay whiskered, and always be ready for the next trail cam extravaganza, because in Dave's forest, the trails are as endless as the stars are bright. Until next time, nature's beats will play on, and the tale of Bruce, Torrance and Nibbles, and their symphony of crunch will linger like the last note of a lullaby, sung by the wind through the pines. Although our bushy-bearded, baldy host remains off-screen, his spirit of wilderness camaraderie lingers. So, until next time, keep your eyes peeled and your trail mix handy. You never know who might show up for dinner in the beautiful backdrop of the Shropshire Woods. Thanks for watching. I do try and make at least one video a week, so if you don't want to miss out, hit subscribe. And if you do want to hit like, if you do want to do a comment, I'll try and get back everybody as quickly as I can. Thanks guys.